Hey guys, so today we have a um, new Genesis. Um, car came in with a no start, it doesn't even go to ignition on. It's a push start, as you can see, and doesn't do anything. But we have our immobilizer icon there, right? But what I did first here, I thought that this car, um, the key fobs are not program to this vehicle but I've tried to program it but so far it's going unlock and unlock button but nothing happens right so and we can see that the what do you call that the battery is totally dead so I'm gonna go there so the battery is in the trunk so I'm just gonna remove everything and I guess I guess charge it for now and then we'll see and then I'll go through again with you guys on how I tackle this problem and I hope I can find the problem soon because this is a very weird one it's a brand new car so okay guys thank you okay so update um I removed the trim piece on here so that I can access to our um, stop start button um, so I just want to make sure that our button is working fine because the complaint was you know doesn't go doesn't start or doesn't even go to ignition on so what I did right now is I'm I'm back probing our ground signal here our ground wire number six and a pin one for our switch one so I think on this style I think it's just looking for the ground signal so right now it's showing 10 volts but if I'm gonna press it it's showing 0.7 so for me that switch is good so I'm gonna go to number switch 2 at pin 7 I'm just gonna back probe that okay. it's hard Okay. Same thing, and then I'm gonna press it again. So there's there's um, difference there, right? So because if if there's a problem there, that wouldn't change because this one will close and it's just looking for that ground. And now. I put a question mark here because when I was back probing this power and ground, I don't know what's this immobilizer antenna. I didn't get anything. There's no ground, there's no power. So I move on because that's part of the integrated body unit. So I want to our uh, is this the one? Yeah, I think this is the one. So I was trying to oh no, not this one this one so our starter relay right because I, I just want to make sure that I can crank the starter so I was trying to jump this two here the spin one and two so um, I found out that on pin one on the relay there's no power too so let's go ahead and let's go at the, at the engine bay and I'll show you what I I see right In the engine room compartment so I'm just gonna hook up my test light on the ground and there should be power there right so this are relay slot here the pin one should have power all the time but I removed the fuse for the 30 amp for this one here because I was, I was thinking that there's some problem there right so one pin should have a power too but there's no power in there right so there's something wrong on this side here because that's what it says here that's hot all the time even though there's no there's a problem with our um, ignition switch there should be power all the time there and so next what I did is I went to this fuses here ignition one two and ACC there's no power there too so I removed the fuses there no power 
no power no power no power no power no power no power no power and this stud here i think this is the source of the power for this pcb block there's no power so i have to figure that out at least i have a direction now that where i'm going with this problem here so i'll update you again uh, once i found something i removed the cover in here so i just um, remove this big connector and i was just doing visual inspection right there's no sense of cut work and this big black thing here the wire this one that's our i think stud for the power right but as i can see on this one i tried to check it's all going all the way down there so i'm gonna go to the battery back to our battery so i, I, I hook up our negative there check for power that's good so i'm just checking all like that so there's all power there there's power there what do you find here no power no power our culprit 125 fuse so what i'm gonna do next is look for this fuse and see if everything starts um, the complaint was when you push the button nothing happens even though press the brakes with a with a key fob right nothing so and then let me just turn this off is in neutral even vehicles in neutral I didn't do anything man oh it turned off oh boy um so now we went there and we went to our engine room compartment and we found that there was no power on one of the main fuses there so now and we went here and we found that our one of the big fuse here i think i don't know what's that but we're gonna find it later what's what that what fuse is that but most likely that's an alternator fuse but but it should still run so i found another fuse let's remove this and let's see if that will power up all our electrical components. So I'm guessing what happened here, maybe during the delivery or when they pick up the car from the port, maybe someone reverse boosted it i don't know i'm not sure yet but that's one of the suspicions so let me just type that okay so as you can see here I took that big fuse. Now our audio unit works now. Let me turn this on. Oi. The wiper was on. Okay. Oh, I forgot. The big connector. Let me just turn this off. Um, the big connector is... Was out. Now, I guess I have to put this back in. Oh man. Okay, let me just secure this. I'll be back. Secure back our um, big fuse box on our engine room. So, let's recheck our power there. Okay, 
So power is good on this side, but our concern was this side. So now we have power there, which is good. So now, let's try to crank this engine and see if it fires up. Well, unless our, un, unless our battery is weak again. Now well, let's try. This sounds promising. That now it goes on to um, it goes on to what do you call that to ignition up. Okay, let's try. Boy, there you go. So our car starts now. Well, we have a check engine light. I don't know what's the check engine light, but I will figure it out. I need to move out this car but for the meantime our concern for a no start it's fixed and I hope you enjoy the video I know it's a it's like a not a real-time um, what do you call that process it's all cut and go but I hope um, you learn something from there um, I learned something on that process too um, don't forget to subscribe and if you don't like anything comment and let me know thank you for watching